Shalom Akim, Brak the Yahoo, Brak the Al Shai, Brak the Yahoo, Brak the Al Shai, Kol Holo, Yahoo Bashim Yal Shai. Though honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Uh, this video is going to be based off of the scripture right here in Psalms 37, verse 16. It says, A little that a righteous man hath is better than the riches of many wicked. Right? So, the, the little that the, the elect has right now is much more much better than than the riches that the wicked have you know even small things you know just two thirds you know two thirds they might they might have a ton of women that they can deal with and you being in this truth a man of the Lord you can't deal with a ton of women you might just have one chick or no chick you know um Small things. It's not even necessary like grand dear things. Because when you come in this truth, you give up your life. So a little that a righteous man hath is better than the riches of many wicked. Alright, so I'm gonna read first Peter. This is first Peter's one. Uh, on verse six it says, Wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness through many fold temptations. Verse 7, it says that the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. Right now, what we might be going through might seem hard, but it's much more precious than gold. You know? We're in a much better state. We're in a much better predicament than the world. The world might look at us and and think that that we're losers and that we're bums and we're failing at life. But we're we're about to inherit the earth. So I'm gonna, since I said that, I'm gonna read another verse in Psalms 37. It says, uh, um. I'm going to start at verse. I'm going to start at verse 27. Depart from evil and do good and dwell forevermore. For the Lord loveth judgment and forsaketh not his saints. They are preserved forever, but the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. The righteous shall inherit the land and dwell therein forever. a lot that's not the scripture i wanted hold up it's like it's like yeah vacuum um I'm going to start at verse 7. This whole chapter is beautiful. Alright, so this is Psalms 37, verse 7. It says, Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Don't worry about the wicked, man. That's, that goes all the way to the elites who are actually killing us through chemtrails, GMO foods, you know, the ones that sanction wars. Um, bio, uh, bio wars, and all the way down to the, to to the wicked two thirds and low level Edomites who are not in this truth. You know, they might be seem to prosper. You know, they might seem to be happy and things like that. Rest in the Lord, wait patiently for Him, and fret not thyself because of Him who prospereth in His way. Right, verse eight: Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. For So don't go back into the world. Don't fall into the world. Don't look at the world 
and see that they're doing well and go into it. Join them. It's going to tell you why. Verse 9 it says, For evildoers shall be cut off. They're about to be judged. They're about to be destroyed. But those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. And we're about to inherit the earth. You know, if we be part of the elect, we're going to be joint heirs with Yahweh Bashin Yahshai and inherit the earth in righteousness. Verse 10. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. Yea, thou shalt diligently consider his place, and it shall not be. But the meek shall inherit the earth, and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. So be patient, you know, endure this 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 trial, this suffering. Well, I was gonna pull up, I'm gonna get it. Wisdom of Solomon. Oh, here we go. Wisdom of Solomon three verse one. It says the souls of the righteous are in the hand. Of Yahweh Bashin Yahshai, and there shall no torment touch them. And the sight of the unwise they seem to die, and their departure is taken from misery. And they're going from us to be utter destruction, but they are in peace. For though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is their hope full of immortality. People don't know why we're in this truth and why we we give up our lives. We give up our lives because our hope is full of immortality. Man. Verse 5, it says, And having been a little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded. For the Most High proved them and found them worthy for himself. As gold in the furnace hath he tried them and received them as a burnt offering. And in the time of their visitation, they shall shine and run to and fro like sparks among the stubble. They shall judge the nations and have dominion over the people. The Lord shall reign forever. They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. And such as be faithful in love shall abide with him. For grace and mercy is to his saints. And he hath care for his elect. The Lord got our back, man. We just got to endure, endure this trial. And fret not over the evildoers or the wicked. All right, this is James 5 and 1. It says, Go to now, ye rich men, weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. Your riches are corrupted, and your garments are moth-eaten. Your gold and silver is cankered, and the rest of them shall be a witness against you, and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. You have heaped treasures together for the last days. See, it's not good to be rich. Back to the main point of this, this, this video, Psalms 37 and 16. A little that a righteous man hath is better than the riches of many wicked. Alright, Luke 6. This is Luke 6. And, uh, 20. And he lifted up his eyes on his disciples and said, Blessed be ye poor. Yours is in the kingdom of the of the heavenly father. Blessed are ye that are hungry now, for ye shall be filled. Blessed are ye that weep now, for ye shall laugh. Blessed are ye when men shall hate you, and when they shall separate you from their company, and shall reproach you, and cast out your name as evil for the Son of Man's sake. Rejoice ye in that day, and leap for joy. But behold, your reward is great in heaven, for in the like manner did their fathers unto the prophets. This is the position you want to be in right now. Because the Lord's about to do a huge reversal, a huge flip. Ready? This is not where you want to be. Verse 24. A woe, which means destruction. A woe unto you that are rich, for you have received your consolation. The rich, the evildoers, the wicked that seem to prosper from the all the way up wicked elite to these regular peons. They have received their consolation. Woe unto you that are rich, for ye have received your consolation. Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. Woe unto you when all men shall speak well of you, for so did their fathers to the false prophets. 
okay? So I'm going to end it with, the, with those precepts. Lord willing, this was uh, edifying. Uh, I know I was all over the place. Um, call hello, Yahweh Bashin Yasha. I'll praise this to Yahweh Bashin Yasha. Shin Yakabat Lahaza Kwanyum Shal Yasha Allah. Double honors to the elders of Israel, which are the apostles, and that was a great millstone. Shalawan Wa Barakim Lahaz Bakarim. Peace and blessings to the elect. All right. Shalawan Maki.